What happened, what happened with Nifka was that <clears throat> in Morocco they had this wonderful festival. When I say they had it, it was not something that they used to have. Just as once they had this festival. And the festival was stayed in the courtyard of an old palace. And the festival was stayed in the middle of a swimming pool. And what happened that the various areas of the country and there are many areas there. E each area sent things to represent the area. They said this festival is really lovely. This is a great thing to do to bring a country together, you know. And uh, I came back to Barbados so and I was disappointed. This isn't going to be much happening. The festival choir was doing Bimsha, yeah, at Christmas time. And then there was uh, the odd play now and then. I was in the Civic Theatre. And then there was a, a school festival. Daphne Joseph Sackett was very much involved in organizing that. And the teachers would write plays and so on, the children would do that. And that was quite interesting. I thought that's not enough. Barbados can do better than that. Because I came up seeing concerts and so on. And I knew that there was a lot we had to offer. So I said, we can do better than that. We should have a festival. So I, th I thought, um, you know, we should have a festival. I'm somebody that if I think something should happen, I can't sit down and say it should happen. If I believe in it, if I have to get up and make it happen. So I thought, you know what, we should have a festival. And then I used that to be a Barbados Dance Theatre Company. And Virginia Seeley, who by the way is the person who gave me his name. <clears throat> and Arden Clark was organizing a, a, a festival. It was an artist festival. He was having a festival for established artists. And I thought, that's not good enough. They're, they're established already. All, all the artists that don't even realize they're artists. And nobody knows they're artists. Who's doing anything for them? If, if I'm involved in a festival, I want it to be a festival for, for everybody. Where people can discover themselves and people can discover them. <clears throat> so I met Arden Clark one night at a party. And I said, well, I think well, Barbados is too small to support two festivals. Um, so why well, don't we conflate the two ideas and let us get together and have one festival? So he said, well, that doesn't sound stupid. He said, well, we have a meeting on Saturday at the Dance Theatre Mission Studio. If you want to come to it, come. So I said, yes, I want to come to it. So I often went to this meeting. So we were having this meeting. So she told me he, he had a committee. So he said, would you put your ideas at the committee? And I did. And they said it makes more sense to have one festival. So then we decided we would have one festival. I didn't say, we keep saying festival, it has to have a name. You all go home and in two weeks time with another meeting. Come back here with a name. So they all, we all went away to find this thing. So we came up with all things that you can't pronounce at all. And then Virginia City said, National Independence Festival of Creative Arts. That's where it's Nifka. They all thought, that's perfect. That's just what it is. My fondest memory of Nifka is the fact, is the fact that Nifka came into being and still is. I'm happy that I was able to do it. <laughs>